Hello and welcome to the third video in my dungeon leveling series where I show you how to level a paladin from 30 to 80 doing dungeons only. In this video we'll be doing ZF from level 43 to level 48. I'll leave a link down below to the gear and spec I was using at 43, but most of the gear will be the same from when you hit level 40 and unlock the plate gear. As always, if you want an easier and faster time leveling, then you can spend some extra gold for some upgrades on the auction house at any time. At 40, you should also get your epic mount, as we'll be using it quite a lot to travel to various dungeons, and we can also use it inside of ZF. ZF technically has potential to be good all the way up until level 52. However, I'm going to break off at 48 just to go somewhere else and give people some more options for where they want level. So let's go ahead and get started with the run. Our main goal while leveling in ZF is to skip as many mobs as possible on our way to the zombies. The regular packs in the dungeon are super annoying and it can be very difficult to handle more than one at a time, especially if there's more than one witch doctor. For this reason, doing the packs on the way to the zombies is actually very inefficient for experience, so we'll be trying to minimize the amount of mobs we have to kill on our way to the graveyard. There used to be evade spots we could use to exit combat and get to the graveyard safely, but unfortunately Blizzard's anti-farming changes made it so that these evade spots are very unreliable and actually dangerous to use. The mobs will instantly teleport to your location if it detects you evading at any point. For this reason, we'll simply clear our way up to the graveyard instead. If you have a level 80 on another account, something even more efficient for experience would be to clear the path all the way to the graveyard for your alt and then leave the dungeon. That way your alt can safely run all the way to the graves and do only the zombies and then reset. But to keep the series cohesive, I'm going to assume that you only have one account and you're clearing on your low level character only. You should only need to kill the first couple of packs in here and then run along this left side and jump onto the wall and then you can mount up and run to the next area. This will allow us to skip a couple of extra packs which does save a little bit of time. Once you're in this area, you'll want to be on your mount and jump onto the wall on the right side. We'll engage the next pack by jumping onto the boxes that they're standing next to. The mob should actually notice you evading and teleport to your location instantly. If you have any trouble with this, because sometimes it is a little glitchy, then you can just jump down and engage them normally. I just like using this box spot because the mobs won't be able to flee when they get low on HP. You can see in this clip here that it didn't really work out too well for me, so I ended up just jumping down and doing it normally. For the rest of the way to the zombies, we'll be using the same tactics we've been using in all of the other dungeons. Pull one or two packs at a time, use Seal and Judgment of Light, and keep Consecration and Holy Shield active at all times. You should prioritize killing the Witch Doctors and their totems as they're the most annoying to deal with. Your second target should always be the Shadowcasters, followed by the Blood Drinkers. When the mobs are low HP and start to run away, try and kill them quickly so they don't run into another pack. ZF mobs are notorious for having ridiculously long flea ranges, and with all the patrols and the mob density in here, it's very easy to pull too many packs and end up dying. I should also mention that at level 44, you gain access to Hammer of Wrath, and I recommend you train it as soon as you can. It adds a lot of safety to killing these mobs when they start to flee, as you can combine Hammer of Wrath and Hand of Reckoning for some large execute damage. Once you reach the area with the Scarabs, you should definitely kill them, as they're quite easy, and they also give a good amount of experience. If you wanted to, you could also pick up the quests to collect the Scarab Shells and the Troll Temper, and you can complete these while you're leveling in ZF. I didn't, however, because I said I wouldn't do any quests after level 30, I'm gonna try my best to complete that challenge. Challenge. After 12 to 15 minutes, you should finally arrive at the zombies. These zombies are going to be the bulk of our experience, and they're also the easiest part about doing ZF. At first, you should test the waters a bit and see how many graves you can handle, but I would just start with 2 or 3 to be safe. Especially at level 43, just take it nice and slow until you know what your character can handle. Leveling up does increase your survivability quite a bit because you'll be putting points into redoubt, which is a huge talent for us. But when we don't have access to that at level 43, it's going to be a little bit rough, so just kind of struggle through it, and you should only have to do one or two runs before you start seeing some real improvements. Honestly, level 43 ZF is the first real challenge in the series, but it does get a lot easier once you get to level 44 and 45 because we get those extra talent points as well as Hammer of Wrath, so just kind of struggle through it at 43 and make the best of it. It actually only takes one or two runs to fully level up in here, so if you're struggling at 43, just know that that's pretty typical and just kind of get through it and once you get into those higher levels, it's going to get much better. At this point, the only thing left to do is kill all the remaining zombies and then mount up and run out to reset. These runs come in at over 200,000 experience an hour and they should take around 20 minutes total using gear similar to mine. Remember that you can stay here until level 52 if you want, but I'll be putting out the next part of the series that handles level 48 to 52 and it's going to be in a different dungeon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you see that next guide coming out and uh, like this video if it helped you out in any way. That really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.